What is good, ladies and gentlemen? It is CR21 back with another video, SmackDown review. Let's get into it. We're kicking off the night with I don't even know how to call this. Um, the biggest troll in the uh, that ever happened. Okay, so apparently Elias was like in a car crash or something. Like it just started right away like that. I thought it was real. Then they went to Braun Strowman. Braun Strowman was on the other side. So he was basically the witness. And basically we got Elias in the floor and everything. Then we have uh, Jeff Hardy all the way in the other corner. Um, just laying down in the mat. And we get security coming out of the referees. J&J security. Jason Jordan coming out and get him. So apparently Jeff Hardy was getting arrested. Shane, I mean, I was about to say Shane. I thought Sheamus attacked him, but then I see he's getting arrested, and I see Elias. So two things happen. Like okay, so Elias is hurt, rushed to the hospital. Jeff Hardy arrested. I don't know what was the point of that. Like we did see Jeff Hardy, Jeff Hardy coming out later in the show, but that's later. They never did nothing with Elias, so I don't know what the Elias thing was about. I guess we'll find out next week. Um, and yeah, that was basically how we basically started, started SmackDown. Then we got the intro, and we got a battle royal. The winner faces Daniel Bryan in the main event. A decent 10-man battle royal. Nothing special. It has some good spots. They made Chad Gable look good in the Battle Royal. They made Corbin look good in the Battle Royal. Um, and Sheamus won. I mean, it was kind of obvious Sheamus was going to win. The other guy that could have won could have been Corbin, Cesaro, Nakamura. But obviously Sheamus needed this win. So, yeah, that was an alright Battle Royal. Next, we got Sonya Deville versus Lacey Evans. Apparently, we're putting that matches on Twitter. So, <laughs> yes, it is what it is. Uh, it was a boring, slow start. It cashed up a little bit. Then it ended up in a double count. I hate double count outs. Like, I'd rather have a disqualification or like a count out. You win by count out, but double count out is the worst. Now, this lets me to think like, are we done with this Mandy thing? Like, what? You can't be feuding for like seven, eight months and end it like that. So, if that's not the case, then I don't know. Because I guess Sonya will fight Lacey at Backlash. I don't know. I don't even know what that was for. But, eh, I guess Lacey needed this win. I mean, you don't want to make Sonya look bad. And you don't want to make Lacey look bad. Put them in a double count out. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that was nothing really. Let's get to it. We have a moment of bliss. With the guests, your boys, the new day. In a funny segment, um, very funny. Then we get interrupted by Bailey. Her song hits, and I didn't even know it was her. I'm like, wait, whose song is that? And I'm like, oh, it's Bailey. She comes out with Sasha. Got another funny promo. Bailey was actually entertaining for this one. Bailey had me laughing during commentary. We got Sasha versus Alexa Bliss in a good physical match. Usually what you expect from them. Putting up a good match. And yeah. Basically. Clear as that is. Sasha wins. Finally. She won a match. And now next week. It's going to be Bailey and Sasha versus Nikki Cross. And Alexa Bliss for the tag team championship. The women's side. So I'm thinking. Is Bailey really going to be double champion? I hope not. Probably Alexa Bliss is going to retain. But I bet they're going to. Pen Shasha, because if you pin Bailey, then that means you're gonna get an opportunity. Oh, maybe they could pin Bailey and then they get an opportunity, but then they have to defend the attack belt. So it's really like just make Alexa win, I guess. Um, from there it was a decent, decent moment of bliss, decent match. Let's get to the next thing that happened. Up next, we got Cesaro versus Shorty G in a decent match. It was actually a good match. Cesaro always putting up a good match, making someone look good. Um, But hey, guys, Shorty G's not the hacker, so we could get that out of the way. 
When I saw him, I was like, wait, what? He's not the hacker? So it's Ali. Ali's the hacker. It's not CM Punk. It's not Jordy. It's Ali. But um, this match, though, it was a good match. I was sorry, I had the European uppercuts. We had a lot of rolling. Um, pound for pound. We had clothesline. We had over-the-top action. So, overall, good match. Jordy G wins with the roll-up. I expected him to win with the roll-up. At this point, Cesaro is like the biggest job on SmackDown. Because, I mean, he, he can't win a match now. So, it's like, like, come on, what are we doing, guys? So, hey, I guess it is what it is. Shorty G wins. This wouldn't really do nothing for him. Cesaro, just random match. Um, Then, up next, breaking news. The bro of NXT, Matt Riddle, is coming to SmackDown. Woo! That was that's nice. I was mad because when there was twenty five minutes left, I thought Matt Riddle was coming out. I was promised Matt Riddle tonight, but it's all good. Kurt Angle with the announcement made him more special. This guy has a he's gonna be a Mick Cart talent. This guy's gonna be a tag team IC champion or US champion. He don't if he becomes a Tyler Breeze, because he reminds me of Tyler Breeze's young Mick Carr talent coming in, what well, it led him to nothing. So I uh, hopefully Triple H got some notice on Matt Riddle. So yeah, that should be that should be quite interesting. Matt Riddle. I think he might be debuting next week or a backlash, so yeah, that should be pretty cool. Um up next, we have the main event. Sheamus versus Daniel Bryan. It started slow. It cashed up. It got a little bit good. For a second, I thought AJ Styles was coming out. But no, Jeff Hardy came out. That's when I'm like, oh, man. It was all staged. I was fooled. Like, for the whole hour and a half, I was thinking, is he really arrested? Is he really? Is Elias hurt? It was all a fluke. Jeff Hardy comes out. Cost Sheamus the match. Daniel Bryan wins. Danny Burns, AJ Styles for the Intercontinental Championship in the finals. Um, and I guess we're getting Jeff Hardy versus Sheamus, so that should be pretty good. Um, so I'm assuming Danny Burns gonna win this time the Intercontinental Championship, even though AJ Styles needs it more. Just because the simple fact AJ Styles never hold that title, Danny Bryan, it's hard to pick between that match, but I got AJ Styles winning that match. But, yeah, it's what it is now. So, um, a pretty overall decent SmackDown. It has some high, some ops, like that Lacey Evans match. Or the Shorty G match. I mean, the Shorty G match was good. The Battle Royal was good. The main event was alright. Moment of Bliss was funny. So, overall, good SmackDown, I guess. Decent for what it was. Um, so, last week's SmackDown, I believe I gave it like a 7 out of a 7 and a half. This SmackDown, I will give it a 6 and a half out of 10. So, make sure to subscribe, like this video, and share 21 Talks Wrestling is out.